of Vox Maka coming to Prom Video. Amazon Studios is giving us a second follow-up season to these highly anticipated show that everybody has been waiting for. Um, obviously, you know, critical the people with critical role, uh, you know, Ashley Johnson, Matthew Mercer, uh, Laura Bailey, and the gang. Um, they're back to reprise their roles. Um, and Vox Mock in the season two picks right back off from where season one left off. Um, as we, um, season one picks up where we're coming up on a attack to the to the city, uh, with the dragons, and pretty much, uh, as, as you can tell, you know, all hell breaks loose uh, <laughs> on this and uh, it's up to Vox Machina to go up onto another mission and uh, and save the world once again. Uh, season season two definitely does something that I, I was kind of expecting uh, in the first one because it's such a large group. I was kind of figuring like, OK, this season is going to be a little bit more focused on in on other characters of the show. Um, and that's exactly what it is. Um, where, like I said, the the mission of of this of this season is for the characters to be able to you know collect these um, these sacred weapons or these uh, I think they call it vestiges uh, to be able to stop the dragons and you know this we have to do all this within twelve episodes and save the world. Um, one of the one, definitely one of the biggest things that they focus a little bit more on Grog um, and they focus a little bit more on Kaylee. And of course, the the twins. Um, this this season gives us a little bit more of their backstory, kind of their motivation as to why they are what where they are right now. Um, kind of you know, the show still focuses on people's like internal struggles and like what they're dealing with, and you know, ver various other things. Um, I definitely can tell you um, just from from watching just the all twelve episodes so far. Of, sec of season two is that they definitely stepped up the budget um you know if you know this is amazon money we plan with here so i already knew when i when i seen season two that this was going to get a a superior step up from from the first one not nothing too ridiculous but you could definitely tell uh where, where the money has gone in some of like the cg scenes they do here um definitely the action scenes which are phenomenal by the way like the action um just the sound of the action itself is, is amazing um and it just looks great. It just looks great. I love. I love the world. the The way it looks. The way it's it's, it's painted here. It's just so colorful. Um, there's never like you know. I feel like a lot of season one was kind of dark. I, I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I gotta watch it again. But I feel like a lot of season one was kind of dark. Season two, I feel like we're we're getting into like brighter scenes. Uh, st still, still like dark scenes where like you know, it's like a scene with a volcano. That's all I'm gonna say there. But. It's still like you know scenes where it's, where it's kind of dark, but they do give you a little bit more light, so you can see a lot of the action a little bit more. Um, whereas, like that, like I said, the first season was like them dealing with vampires, so like we were dealing with, uh, you know, them in like castles or they were like in a cave or something like that. Um, and also, season one is mainly focused around Percy and him dealing with that whole situation with the people that killed his family and stuff like that, um, while while they were also trying to make a name for themselves as Vox Machina and become and become heroes. Um, whereas though, like this season feels like Percy is definitely taking a back seat. Um, he, he definitely feels like to me, he feels kind of useless in the group. Cause he's like, he's like the only one that doesn't really have any abilities or powers or anything like that, or magic he's using tech, which the tech is cool, but it just seems like it doesn't work against anything. Like he's firing bullets and stuff like, like that. He's using gunpowder. Um, again, Percy just doesn't seem as useful in this in this season after watching all twelve of these episodes. Um, and like I said, it's just like you know that we're we're, we're shifting the, the you know because he had the pretty much he had the first season. We're shifting the focus from from him to other characters as as they get more more backstory. Like I said, uh, Vax and Vex, um, we we get a, we get more of that backstory with their father. Um, we get the the why of the way they are, um, you know, kind of like you know what happened to get them to this point, um, and just more you see more of like their bond um, as brother and sister in the show, and and why they care for each other the way they do. And I'm glad that they 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 give you this here because for the most part it just seems like you know they he just comes off as like a clingy brother or, or vice versa. But they're twins, so they kind of have that bond where they're gonna look out for each other regardless uh, of the situation and like that's their priority. Um, they also kind of head towards certain relationships within the group. 
Um, I don't want to spoil anything. I mean, if you watch the show, then you know what I'm talking about. They're, they're kind of pushing towards some relationships of the uh, will they, won't they? Uh, will it happen? You know, do they have time to do this type of scenario? Um, and, you know, it, 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 they kind of give you a little bit more there. But uh, again, like I said, the story is focused in on other characters now where they kind of got the spotlight and they have the time uh, to, to be the hero. Like I said, with Keely, Keely. Um, you know, she's the magic. She's still trying to master, you know, her different elements and, and how to do certain things uh, within, you know, within her training. Um, and, you know, no spoilers here, but she she's definitely one of the standout characters this season. Um, definitely, definitely one of my favorite. You know, she's consistently doubting herself. Not sure if she could do anything, but I guess like I she's definitely one of one of the standouts here. Um, Grog, he, he goes down a completely different other journey um and for whatever reason like the show loves to play on cursed artifacts um and you're gonna get a little bit of that in this season too because for whatever reason they can't just pick up a thing without it having something attached to it <laughs> as you see from from season one where percy um percy had the mask or you know whatever whatever it was that he was that was taking over him and cut he should have kept it though I, that's kind of one thing i was kind of hoping he would have kept it. i know it was kind of killing him and it was evil but it was cool. It was like the one thing that was, it actually made him kind of like, like cool. It was relevant. Now it's like, okay, now you just, you just the guy just, just shooting bullets at magical creatures that do nothing. Like if it was a fight against humans, he'd be straight. But the majority of the time they're, they're fighting against like orcs, dragons, like stuff that clearly bullets are not going to penetrate. And Percy just feels completely freaking useless here. So other than that, like, man, I said, it, it do a really good job there. Um, a lot of surprise voice actors this season. I don't even. I don't even want to tell you guys. <laughs> you know, you'll definitely hear it. I mean, obviously, as you watch the credits too, you'll you'll definitely see that. Um, a lot, like I said, a lot of surprise voice actors. I was surprised to hear some of the voices that I heard when I was watching this. And I was like, oh yeah, that's that's so and so from that one thing. Yeah, but you know, like I said, Amazon stopped the budget, so bigger budget means you're gonna get some some people on here that you didn't probably expect you were gonna get. So it was pr pretty pretty good, pretty cool. Um, but like I said, the overall goal of, of this season um, is to, to find those vestiges and, and and stop these dragons. And the dragons are absolutely ruthless. Like, you know, every it seems like every time in the show where they kind of get a moment of, of rest or reprieve, here comes some bullshit, right? Like, <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of the theme of the show is it's like, all right, you know, once they get to a certain point, then, you know, this person's dead or whatever. Uh, the biggest thing about this is like it almost feels like i don't want to say game of thrones like you can't have a favorite character in the show not none of the main cast because i feel like they're kind of protect protected from you know the plot points but um just other character side characters if you have any attachment to you almost kind of just assume they're gonna die that's not a spoiler it's just the way the show has been so far um but yeah it's it just it's just uh it just sucks because like i said i you know the other characters that kind of got light in the first season they just kind of have less to do now um and maybe maybe that's just that was just the way it was it was that's kind of the way it was supposed to go but i, I kind of wanted to see those characters kind of have their moments to um we'll kind of get back to their glory where they actually had something to do my biggest offense of this entire show is just percy like i i really liked him in the first season and they feel like they just they just clipped his wings and he just really didn't have a lot um you're gonna see a lot of uh the characters get new equipment new power-ups like i said um, the vestiges being one of them and like various other things that make these characters even more tough than what they are. Again, not a spoiler, just that's the the whole overall of the season. That's the the mission. You're going to see them pick up things or, you know, use things that are super cool. And they, 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 when they show them in the show, the animation and everything is super cool. Like I said, I mean, like whoever, whoever does the animation for this, um, it's flawless. Like it's, it's, it's definitely pretty good. Some of the best American animation um, that, that you're going to see um and i can actually man I, overall i just cannot wait to get more seasons of the show it feels like every time you watch it um it's, it goes so go by so quick um and it's, and it's just never never enough here um um the uh you said overall i mean like the music in the show is it stepped its game up too um like you said like just the music the battles the overall the journey like i really i, I would love to listen to the soundtrack of this show um, just if they ever put it on like Apple, Spotify, whatever, like I would love to listen to the music. The music definitely plays a big part um, in this show and just just how it moves and, and, and how, how you see it. It's good. Like I, that's all I can say about that. It's good. And like I said, I would love to to get this uh, personally just to, to own like vinyl or something like that. Um, but like I said, overall, 
uh, 12, 12 episodes this season, season two. Uh, everybody is back, the whole crew. Um, I, like I said, for, I think, like I said, my favorite character, if I had to say, my favorite characters, if I had to say this season, like I said, without it being a spoiler, I think is just the twins because you get a little bit more of kind of what makes them tick and like what 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 makes them so interesting um is like their bond and kind of like they're despised for their father and and you know their race and stuff like that the way they've been treated but just overall you still get that that feeling of family throughout throughout the show i mean it still feels really great um like i said the action the music the budget everything has stepped its game up this season amazon studios is killing it um the show comes out january 20th um if you guys have not seen this already um if you if you guys obviously you watch the review and everything before that, but just know it's overall the season two is even better than the first. Um, it, it's certain elements of the first one that I that I really like, but season two I think really steps it up because like if they're giving other character stuff to do and they're introducing um, characters that I think were going to pay a, um, pay a big big role later on in the show. Um, but you know it, I, I kind of hope that at some point it kind of just slows down. They can actually just chill off for a second without having to go on a world saving journey every five seconds. But this is exactly what what the group is you know for they're supposed to be you know trying to save the people after no longer you know caring about themselves and and, and wanting something a little bit more so overall season two was amazing i really loved it uh 12 episodes coming to amazon prom video on january 20th check it out let them know terrell sent you there to watch it and i uh, can't wait to see you guys uh check me out another review leave me a comment below um and let me know uh what you thought about the show once you see it other than that Enjoy season two, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.